Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a question, what can you expect from a Chinese budget e-bike under 700 euros? To find out, we're looking at the OneSport OT18 e-bike, which costs 660 euros. Let's see why this bike shows that affordable e-bikes are getting better. First, let's talk about the frame. The One Sport has a steel frame that comes in multiple colors. It's strong and good for city and trail rides. Steel is used for affordable e-bikes because it's strong and doesn't cost that much, but it isn't making the bike the lightest out there. Now let's talk about the battery and range. The One Sport has a 36 volt, 14.4 amp hour battery that can go, at least on paper, up to 40 kilometers in the pure electric mode and up to 100 kilometers in the assist mode. Batteries are usually the most expensive part of an e-bike, so companies use smaller batteries to save money. But we're seeing more budget e-bikes with good ranges and the One Sport OT18 is one of them. In my test, it goes about 15 to 20 kilometers less than the claimed range on flat, good bike roads in this lovely weather. Charging the battery takes nearly 7 hours with the provided charger. The OT18 can reach a top speed of 25 km an hour for both the pedal assist and in the fully electric mode and it can handle therefore easily steep bridges. European rules say that e-bikes should have 250 watt motors and up to 25 km an hour of pedal support. This makes it easier to choose a motor and keeps prices low. One Sport includes a throttle that you can install yourself, which saves money, and lets you choose if you want it. In some European countries, throttles like this one are illegal. It's nice that they provide it for free, but basically, can't use it over here. The bike also has a 3-speed LCD display with Bluetooth. It shows all the basic info you need and is easy to read on sunny days. The last things that we have to discuss is the braking performance. The OT18 has front and rear mechanical disc brakes, which are pretty strong. In my standard stopping test that I do on all e-bikes that I test here on this channel, from 25 km an hour to a full complete stop, the OT18 stops smoothly in a bit more than 3.5 meters, which is expected for these type of 160 mm brakes. In terms of components, this bike basically got it all. It has front and rear fenders, made from metal, so that's pretty premium. Front and rear lights, it even has a suspension. The only thing is you cannot adjust or lock the suspension fork, but it has a decent amount of travel. The seat post is comfortable, and one sport even included a smartphone holder. The rear rack can hold a good amount of weight. These parts add some sort of value and are common on budget e-bikes because they're so affordable nowadays. The One Sport e-bike has a cadence sensor, and this is a pretty standard component found on budget e-bikes. It measures how fast you're pedaling and adjusts, based on that, the amount of support you're getting from the motor. This doesn't make the ride as smooth and responsive as a torque sensor. Cadence sensors are common in budget e-bikes because of its price, but I'd rather have a torque sensor than a smartphone holder, app and throttle. Let's quickly go back to the day that I got the bike, so you know what to expect from the unboxing and the installation and setup, in case you're getting one. In the box you'll find not only the bike, but the battery, charger and quite some other stuff too. The bike is pretty well protected for transport and is almost completely assembled. You just need to attach the handlebars yourself. Then continue with the front wheel and also don't forget to add the mudguard and light. I inserted the seat post, mount the rear rack, and put on the pedals. And with the provided tools, I had the bike ready in less than 15 minutes. Bottom line, budget e-bikes are getting good because of tech advancements, efficient manufacturing, but mainly because of standardization. And in the case of the OneSport OT18, for under 700 euros, you get a very decent but standard e-bike. The components used are common and often unbranded, but it will get you safely and reliably from A to B and maybe most importantly, at an interesting price. 